Okay, so we are in chapter number four where we are talking about the multiple linear regression model and we are trying to make statistical inferences about these beta coefficients. And as I talked about in my previous video, these beta coefficients, they show us three things. The direction of the relationship between any variable x and y and the magnitude of the relationship. And third, it tells us about the statistical significance about the relationship of that x variable and y variable and essentially we already spent a considerable amount of time talking about uh, direction of the relationship and the magnitude of the relationship in chapter number three and in this chapter i'm going to talk about the statistical inferences about these beta coefficients in particular i'm going to talk about hypothesis testing and to do that i'm going to introduce a new assumption that we have not seen so far and this assumption is about this error term so we're going to talk about the assumption of normality. For example, this is a multiple linear regression model that we are looking at, but we are assuming about this u term here is that it is normally distributed with a mean zero and a constant variance. And by constant variance, I mean that the variance doesn't depend on any of the x variables. Those are here. This assumption is somewhat related to the assumption of heteroscedasticity that you saw earlier. So here we have three variables, x1, x2, and x3. And as we can see that each of these variables, it's uh, not having any impact on uh, u. These uh, other factors, this error term, it is uh, independent of uh, these uh, x variables. So x variable, it's not having uh, any special impact on this uh, error term, which is normal for all of these x variables. So what does this mean? It means that uh, because this error term contains many factors and the factors that we will include in the model will be represented by these x variables and anything which is left over will be captured by this error term. So this error term represents uh, those unobservable factors. What we are saying here is that uh, those unobservable factors are normally distributed around uh, the population regression function. And the form and uh, the variance of the distribution of these x variables does not depend on any of the explanatory variable. It means that uh, this error term, it is uh, normally distributed. So because this error term, it is uh, the summation of uh, many different unobservable factors. And what we are saying here is that the sum of all those unobservable factors, that is the independent factors, it is uh, normally distributed. And there will be different distributions, those may be affecting uh, this uh, error term. Remember, anything that is not captured by these x variables will be captured by this error term. So what we are saying here is that uh, in summation, they cancel each other. There are two points that I want to make about the normality of this error term. The first is that uh, the normality, it is an empirical question. And the second one is that even if uh, this error distribution is uh, not normal, it should be close to normal. In some cases, the normality of uh, this error term u cannot be established, not hold. For example, we may be working with wage data. The minimum wage could be zero, a non-negative number. And then we have minimum wage laws, which prevents uh, wages to be below that wage rate. So it seems like uh, wages may not represent a normal distribution. Another example could be number of arrests. And this number in the example varies from uh, 0 to 12. The distribution is not normal. So normal distribution means that if we plot our data, it will show a curve like this. And the mean will be right in the middle. And uh, if you want to know more about this uh, normal distribution, I will go to any good stat book or the statistic uh, stick uh, book that you study in the previous course. Similarly, uh, there are many other variables those could not be normally distributed. In some cases, you can transform your va variable. For example, you can take the log of the wages to make it normal. So what this means is that if the distribution of this error term is normal, then any of our beta j that we will estimate, it will be normally distributed around the mean beta j and variance of beta j hat and this is important because later on we're going to we're going to use a standard normal distribution we're going to convert our beta coefficients into standardized coefficients by using this formula 
that you may have already seen in your stat class and what we are saying here is that this is normally distributed around mean 0 and variance 1. You're going to see this uh, formula in the future as well. So what we are saying here is that beta g hat, our estimated value, minus the actual beta g, the population parameter, divided by the standard deviation, it is normally distributed around mean 0 and variance 1. All we are doing here is that we are converting these beta coefficients that we estimated from uh, using OLS estimator, we are converting those into a standardized estimates. And we are assuming that uh, those estimates follow a standard normal distribution. All right, so in the next video, I'm going to introduce you to these statistics. All right, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.